Whether you're already using AirCall as your phone system, or you're looking for calling tools inside of HubSpot that's a little bit more powerful than the ones HubSpot gives you by default, then the HubSpot AirCall integration is exactly what you need. Today, we're gonna to walk you through how to set it up and some of the more powerful things that it lets you do. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. AirCall is calling software that's great for small and medium-sized teams. It's packed full of features, but today we're gonna to focus on what you can do with AirCall and HubSpot together. We'll walk you through how easy it is to set up the integration and some of the things that you can do with AirCall that you can't do with HubSpot's built-in calling features. So let's dive in. So we're gonna start here from AirCall. You can also set this integration up from inside of HubSpot, but we recommend just um, getting into your air call or setting up an air call account if you don't already have one and setting up the integration from there is a little bit uh, less clicks and less steps there. So once you're in air call, you're gonna go to this integrations and API in the menu on the left and you're going to add an integration from the app marketplace. So we'll find HubSpot here. We just want the regular HubSpot one for our purposes today and we will install the integration, authorize, and it will ask you to add one or more phone numbers from your air call settings. Add those numbers, just add one today. And next you'll select your HubSpot accounts. If you have multiple accounts that you want to integrate with your air call and connect the app. And if you haven't already logged into HubSpot, it will prompt you to log, in, log into HubSpot in that process. All right, and the integration is already done. So already we're integrated, but obviously there's some settings that we might wanna configure, so let's jump to that. We're gonna to return to the dashboard here, and it will pull up the settings for us. So under general, it's just gonna kinda of show you what you've already set up, but under the settings tab, this is where some of the real magic happens. So for the default call outcomes that are inside of HubSpot, it doesn't work yet with any custom call outcomes, but any default call outcomes that you have set up in HubSpot, you can map that to air call call outcomes. So these are kind of automated call outcomes that air call can determine just based on your use of the application. And you can map that to your HubSpot call outcomes. Uh, one thing to note uh, about this first one here, for an outbound answered call, if a voicemail uh, picks up that call, then it will still be connected. So you may wanna be careful about automating that connected if you really want connected inside of your HubSpot to only mean that you've actually talked to a person, you may wanna change this to something else, like something like none, um, and then manually update connected. And we can show you how to do that with tags here in a second. So you've got your call outcomes. You can also create tickets with calls, which is great if you're using this for inbound calling for customer service, for example. Um, and then you've got a couple more settings over here that uh, is just good to kind of look over and set up based on the way that you want AirCall to work with HubSpot. So that's all there is to it for settings. Um, so you can see the integration itself, extremely easy to set up. As long as you have an AirCall account, you have a HubSpot account, um, you can get that set up in really like two minutes. But now we're gonna show you exactly how it works once you actually have the integration set up. So we're gonna jump over to our HubSpot instance. I'm gonna refresh just to make sure that it's picked up that we have that integration. So I'm in a contact record here. You can do this from uh, any record where you can make a call. And we've got this make a call button that's just already built into HubSpot. Uh, and typically that uses HubSpot's built-in calling features, but if you do an integration with a phone system like AirCall that HubSpot supports, you can actually use that to make calls through that integrated partner. So we're gonna go ahead and make a phone call here. And you can see that it says AirCall. So when we actually click to call this, it's gonna pop open a dialer just right over my HubSpot interface. It'll populate the phone number. So we're gonna go ahead and hit this call button. It's gonna dial out that phone number. Ring in, I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that call, end that call. So now we've got a couple things that we can do. We can add notes, we can add tags. Tags is gonna be a feature, an air call feature that um, you're really gonna to wanna to use. If you've already used, if you're already using air call, I'm sure you've used tags in the past, but we can tag calls and tags are gonna be uh, pre-set up in air call, so you gotta set them up in advance. 
but uh, so I've got this needs follow-up tag that I've already set up in advance. I'm gonna add this tag and hit done. So now I've got that, um, that tag added to the call. One of the reasons why I really like tags and one of the ways that AirCall makes HubSpot calling more powerful is you can actually use those tags to trigger automations inside of HubSpot if you have a professional level hub or higher. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second, but for now just know that uh, I added the tag to this call. Uh, that tag said needs follow up and you can have a lot of tags inside of your air call so you might have them uh, for other use cases as well so i've got that in here i'm going to exit out of this call close out the dialer and you can see that that call has been added to the contacts activity record so just like if you were making calls out of hubspot with the um, hubspot's built-in calling features or if you were logging calls you can track those activities inside of hubspot you can see when calls were made and what their outcomes were um, just like uh, any other call record. And if we go over to the calls tab, we can see that as well. The other thing that AirCall does that's really great is add some properties inside of your contact records. So I'm gonna show you how to get to those. You can always add them to your sidebar here in the settings, but if you go to view all properties and search by AirCall, you can see we've got four properties here that AirCall has added for us. So the last call outcome, what the timestamp of that call was, uh, the last the phone number that we used from AirCall to call that, um, that, that contact, and then those tags, and this is where you can use that to trigger automation. So again, we've got the activity record of the call and we have some properties that get updated. So I mentioned that you can use those tags for some automation. So let's jump over to our workflows tool. And you do need a HubSpot Professional or Enterprise and any of your hubs to do uh, workflows, but if you have that, that's where this calling can get much more powerful. So we're gonna go ahead and create a workflow. We're just gonna create a contact-based workflow, just a blank one, hit next here. And what I wanna do is I wanna create a workflow that says anytime I make an air call call and I tag that with needs follow-up, I want it to create a follow-up task for me. So the way that you would do that is you would set up the triggers, the contact properties, we're gonna find that air call, uh, last used air call tags property that um, air call set up for us. That tag was needs follow up. Apply that filter. I turn re enrollment on. So if you have multiple calls um, with the same contact that uses that tag, we'll wanna do that every time. We'll hit save. So now anytime I make a call to a contact and I tag it with that needs follow-up, it's gonna enroll them in, that, uh, in this workflow. And what I wanna do is I want to create a task. I'm just gonna say call follow-up. I'm gonna have it be set for a day after my call. And I want to assign it to the existing owner of the contact. So you can already start to see how by adding air call and by using tags, you can do all kinds of things if you combine it with the workflows tool. So things like follow-ups, uh, maybe you've got a few popular products you talk about and you want to maybe automatically send out an email with some sales collateral for that product. You could tag it with the product you talked about. Um, if for support use cases, maybe you want to send out a survey every time after an air call call that you have tagged with survey. There's all kinds of things you can do. Let your imagination run wild. Uh, lots of powerful things with combining tags and workflows. The last thing I wanna show you on this is the power dialer. So power dialing is something that a lot of people would love HubSpot's built-in calling features to do and it doesn't do that, at least not yet. Uh, and so AirCall makes power dialing easy. If you're not familiar with power dialing, essentially what it does is make allows you to call a list of phone numbers or a list of contacts very, very quickly. So. It's just gonna cycle through that full list. It's gonna make a call. If that person doesn't answer, it's gonna automatically dial the next call. If it does answer, it's gonna let you do your call, make any notes or tags that you want to. You'll press next, and then all of a sudden, you're calling that next number. So great if you need to call, uh, follow up on a bunch of support tickets, or even better for sales environments, where you've got a lot of calls to get through in a day. So how you do power calling with AirCall and HubSpot actually isn't part of the integration. What we're gonna use is we're gonna use a view inside of HubSpot and we're gonna use the AirCall Chrome extension. So you do need to be on the Chrome browser and you need to have already installed the AirCall extension. So 
we've I've got this um, filter already saved here so we've got myself and Ali uh, with phone numbers on the page basically the only thing that you need to have is you need to have a web page it can be any page but obviously we're talking about HubSpot today that has phone numbers on it, multiple phone numbers on it so I've already got the integration installed I just got the options turned off so I'm gonna jump up and turn on these two options for the Chrome extension um, and so you'll see that popped it up but if you already had it on it would look like this so it's gonna highlight those phone numbers on the page and it's gonna show you in the bottom right here that you've got a couple phone numbers found so we're gonna to click to open that and you'll notice we've got this power dialer option here so we're gonna add it to the power dialer and it's gonna give you the option to open the phone. So um, this is gonna open the desktop AirCall app, so you do have to have that installed as well, but if you're using AirCall, recommend that you have that installed anyway. So we're gonna open that phone app. So this is, uh, again, that separate AirCall app. We've got under our to-do, we've got power dialer, two phone numbers. If we click into that, it's gonna show all of the contacts that we added to the power dialer through that extension. And if I hit start session, it's just going to, again, call those people in a list. If they don't answer, skip to the next one, call it automatically. If they do answer, you do your call, add your notes and tags, hit next, and it's gonna continue through the list. So great way to get through a lot of calls. The other thing that I wanna show you why, while I've got this app open is, let's say you're used to working from the AirCall app rather than inside of HubSpot. So I showed you how to make a call inside of HubSpot. There's some great things that the HubSpot and AirCall integration does for you inside of the AirCall app as well. So if I want to make a call, I can find any contact that I have inside of my HubSpot from my AirCall contacts. Let's say I wanna find myself. So I've never added myself to AirCall. This is pulling from inside of HubSpot. So I can open this up and you'll see that I've got this view in HubSpot option here. So I can actually click on that and open my contact record. So if I want to get um, some context for that person that I want to call that maybe isn't available inside of, um, inside of that AirCall app, I can open this up. Uh, I've got this window over that one, but I could go ahead and call, or again, you can call from directly inside of HubSpot. So that's all there is for the AirCall integration. Obviously, very easy to set up, lots of powerful things that you can do, power dialing, automations with workflows and tags. Let your imagination run wild and uh, drop in the comments if you've got any, any cool automations that you've tried or that you wanna try, drop them in the comments, share them with the rest of the people watching this video. I'm sure that would benefit everybody. For more HubSpot tips, tricks, and how-tos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and jump down to our description to sign up for our email newsletter as well. See you next time.